Hi, welcome to SkatingGuy.com. I'm Coach Duncan, also known as The Skating Guy. We're going to talk a little bit today about laces and different ways you can lace your skates, different ways different guys lace their skates and what it does for you, why the laces are important. They're really overlooked a lot of the time. People don't understand how important the laces are, but if you think about it, that's what holds everything together in your skate. So first thing I was going to show you my skates. It's how I lace them up here. I've got my other one on my foot, so you can see I lace it up only to that, that second last uh, eyelet there. I leave this one free. That gives me a little more range of motion in my ankle because the boot comes up a little high for me. Let's show you on my foot here. Down there. Can we see the... Let's just adjust, move the camera a little bit there. And there we go. You can see that. So it's short here. That last one's not a dime what that does. You can see how far I can lean forward with my shin there. Okay, can we see that? Let's pull that up a little bit. So you can really see how much lean I get on my shin there. And you can also see, if you watch here, how much free movement I get in my ankle. Now, uh, another common variation that you'll see is you'll see guys skip an eyelet rather than just uh, stop short, which is what I do. So let me show you what that looks like just on this other one of my skates. So often it's the third eyelet down, uh, sort of, so if you look here, you see I'm laced up there, and we would lace up to here. Okay. And we lace up to there. So you see that we're lacing up, we're skipping that one right there. And what that's supposed to do is give you more flex forward. So the boot will flex at this point a little bit more and give you a little bit more ability, but still kind of lock your heel right in the back of the boot here. That's what guys are really usually going for when they skip them. Some guys leave and skip two, right? Or they'll skip lower down on this. This is, I've actually got really small feet, so there aren't as many grommets. But uh, if you are sort of got more up here, some guys will skip two or they'll skip farther down. Sort of right on the curve here, so you might skip that uh, fourth one rather than the third one, or you might skip right from here to here. Okay, so there's lots, those are the two main variations guys do. Some guys will even skip, uh, they'll stop after that one and they'll take out these top two to give them more range of angle. It's about what's the, it, and it's really about what's different between your skate and your foot and what uniquely works for that because your skate and your foot work together. I've had skates that I've laced up a bunch of different ways. These skates that I've got right now, I lace up this particular way. So let's talk about laces themselves. Now I'm sure everybody's familiar with wax laces and traditional or unwaxed laces. Let's talk about the differences between those. Now, unwaxed laces, I'm gonna back up this camera a little bit. Unwaxed laces, they are a little easier on your hands to tie uh, and they loosen off a bit. Now some guys like that, some guys don't like the tightness, don't like the tight feel of your um, of the wax laces in the way that they really grip. Because what happens is the wax, as it comes through the grum, as the skate comes through the grommet, the wax grips and keeps the uh, the lace from sliding back, so that your skates can't loosen off. And what that allows you to do is to tighten your skates differently at different points. So the main thing, if you're going to use, if you're not going to use wax laces, I always recommend wax laces. But if you're not going to use wax laces, you're going to have to tighten your skates more often. Um, another a misconception with wax laces is that you never have to retighten your skates. Not true. You do have to if they start slack off, tighten your retighten your skates. So we're gonna look at now. You can also see with these laces here. You saw all that tangle. These are too long. You don't want laces that are too long. These are a 96 inch lace. I actually want an 84 inch lace in this skate. If I lace right up to the top, I probably want a 96. But I don't, so I use an 84. I'm actually gonna swap those out fairly soon. So you can get. It's important to get good, good laces. You can save money on skates. You don't need the most expensive skates necessarily, but you do need to get good quality laces. Um, this is a good brand. There's another one called Elite. They're good. Lowry laces are good. Um, these are, you know, it's important. The thing with unwaxed laces, you can see right here. If we come up here. You can see, and I'll hold them up against my jacks. So you can really see it here. They're really nice and thick and fluffy 
and it's all that weave that's going to give it bite that'll give it some staying power in the uh, in the grommet and then the wax you should just make sure that you can feel good a thickness of wax on there they should be a little stiff so that if I kink it like that you can see that right there that shows that it's it's stiffened by the, the wax that means there's a decent amount of wax on there what you want to avoid are laces that are slippery these ones lots of people buy them because they're not very expensive they come in cute colors but if you feel it and it feels like a shoelace which this one does you can't really but you can probably see a little bit of how much shine there is on there and that's because it's it's not it's more nylony less cottony more like a shoelace and that's going to slip it's not going to hold well your skates are going to be loose all the time they don't work they don't hold your skates together and however much money you paid on your paid for your skates even if you got a good deal on them you use laces like that they're not going to give you the performance that you paid for and that you need the last point I'm going to make is replace your laces often you can't imagine the difference it makes to have fresh laces in your skates if you start to feel like your skate doesn't quite fit or it's always a little bit loose chances are your laces are worn out they wear out before you can see they're wearing out you can feel it you can feel the skate's not quite as loose it doesn't stay tight as long that means your laces are wearing out you need new ones replace your laces laces are important thanks for coming to skatingguy.com we hope you come back really soon if you have any questions just click to the left of the screen there and ask the skating guy. Thanks a lot.